Hey Cancer, welcome to your reading for today. This is gonna be a general energy reading for you, okay? We'll see what is it going on with you at this time. What is it that your angels, your guides need you to know, okay? What's happening here for you today or this week? What is it that you need to know here, Cancer? What's happening with Cancer? Holy angels. What is going on with Cancer? What's the message for Cancer today? What is your message for Cancer? Okay. Let's see. And the Eight of Wands at the bottom, okay. So, we have an empress out here first, okay? So this could be you, you could be a divine uh, feminine energy here. We'll have to see what this is. There's something here about communication. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. Some sort of communication coming in, someone coming in to talk maybe, okay? And then we have the Nine of Wands, someone being defensive, um, someone putting up strong boundaries or someone doesn't want to give up. Somebody is very persistent with something. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh no. Hold on. Okay. You might have to skip forward a little bit. My, there's some cards that are upside down. here for cancer why is the empress here for cancer let's see the empress and the emperor and the five of wands okay so first card out four of cups in reverse somebody wants to release some sort of grudges from the past or somebody is not holding on to past resentment someone is not um you have rejected something, you have released something, okay? And then we have an emperor here with the five of wands. So emperor and empress, this could be a couple, okay? This could have something to do with marriage. This could have something to do with parents, maybe even. And some sort of fighting. What's the knight of swords? The Seven of Cups reversed, Temperance in reverse, and the Page of Cups. I feel like someone is rushing in to make themselves look innocent. Like someone is coming in really quickly, like very fast, okay? To make themselves look innocent like a page like they're coming in like a knight with some sort of information or communication but they want to make themselves look like they're like very sweet and cute and wholesome and like a like an innocent energy but this person is coming out of like an imbalanced state or temperance in reverse can even be about impatience like somebody is not patient because somebody is not balanced. Somebody is lacking balance and healing and patience. So the Seven of Cups in reverse is kind of giving me like, um, like somebody did, somebody has made a choice, okay? Because the Seven of Cups can be about a lot of different options, right? Trying to figure out what you should do. You don't know what to do, but somebody might have made a choice, but it might also not be the right choice, like made out of some sort of delirium or some sort of a uh, delusion, okay? Because with temperance in reverse, like someone here is not balanced, someone is not patient, someone might have just made some kind of a choice, but not out of being balanced or being healed. 
they just wanted to do something really fast like this is this is fast and their intention behind it all is i need to make myself look innocent i need to make i need to come in with some sort of sweet innocent generous energy okay what's the page of swords The High Priestess, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Cups. I feel like so, is it, is this has something to do with patience. Because with the hang, the Hanged Man, again, like the Hanged Man is a kind of like a patient energy because you're stuck in this waiting, right? It's like you're, it's like a stagnant kind of a stuck energy where you have to make a decision, like, I feel like someone got impatient with something. I don't know, because then you have the Eight of Cups. It's like someone is trying to, someone just doesn't want to be in this waiting period. Like they don't want to feel like they're hung up or strung up or it's like a restless energy. Like I can't just sit around and do nothing. Hmm. So what's the Nine of Wands? The Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands in reverse, like, and the Page of Pentacles. Man, we have all of the pages out here, every single one. Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. This is someone that's very childish, and I feel like with their communication as well. Like someone is not patient. Like they, like, like a child, like when a child wants to communicate, right? They don't have a filter. Like they don't sit and think about if it's the best thing or if they should say this or not say that. They just want to talk like five of pentacles. This person could feel like they are abandoned or neglected or they feel this could even have something to do with their mental state, like, um, yeah, I'm, it feels very, like, restless and anxious, like, um, it almost feels a little bit, like, disassociative, I hope I said that right. There's something with someone's mental, I don't know, something with their communication. And then, then they get, they get un whoever this is, they get uncomfortable in like uncomfortable energies or uncomfortable situations. It like makes them want to defend themselves or it makes them want to take action. Like they feel like they have to fight their way out of something. It's giving me, um, This is very like, I almost want to say instinctual, but it's not instinct because instinct has something to do with intuition. Like this person is just reactive, but it comes from a place of like, not, they don't like where they are. They don't like the way they feel. They don't like be feeling stuck. They feel impatient, imbalanced. They feel like they need to do something to get out of this, whatever this is. I don't know. So, why is the Empress here? Who is the Empress? The Knight of Cups. Who is the Empress? Engagement ring and not today. So, you could be an Empress in some sort of a partnership okay or i like i'm i almost want to say this knight of cups is like looks like an engagement ring it looks like someone is bringing this to an empress right so someone could be coming towards you with a higher commitment or wanting to offer you some sort of a higher commitment or some sort of a partnership here but then you have not today not dealing hurt avoiding conversation called person boundaries still angry why is that here why is not today here because of a marriage. 
So someone doesn't want you to be in a higher commitment with someone. The six, somebody doesn't want you to receive a, an engagement ring. <laughs> okay, that's kind of what it looks like, right? It's like, this is a marriage. Somebody is giving something to someone that will lead to a higher commitment here, an engagement ring, which could be the empress and the emperor, which could be, like I said, a married couple. So someone doesn't like that someone is coming towards you with a higher commitment and they want to give you an engagement ring. And that's maybe what's causing this over here, this feeling of like, oh God, I got to do something right now and I need to say something right now. It's making someone feel impatient because they don't, it's like, what, do they want to stop this? Okay, they don't want you to receive this engagement. What's the four cups reverse? The six of cups and the queen of pentacles. This has something to do with the past. You've already released something from the past. What's the four of cups reverse? Someone is codependent, obsessive, possessive, and controlling. Yeah, so this is a past energy that's lingering around you and this person is possessive over you. Someone is obsessed with you and possessive and controlling. And they, I feel like someone doesn't like the fact that someone is coming towards you with a higher commitment and they're trying to create some sort of conflict for this. Five of Wands. Yeah, it's, the, it's, a, it's a marriage. They don't want you to get married. The fool in reverse. They're they're trying to, they're trying to stop this, block this. Two of Swords. They don't want you to take this leap of faith. They don't want you to have a new beginning. Someone's trying to create a, a conflict for you. Someone's trying to stop you from getting married or getting a commitment or getting an engagement ring or being with someone. Who's this Knight of Swords or what is the Knight of Swords? The Come, somebody is coming really quickly towards the empress or maybe that's what they that's what's making this person feel so impatient and bothered is that they feel like it's coming quickly towards you like they're running whoever is around you that wants to sabotage this they feel like they're running out of time like they feel some sort of impatience because maybe i don't know if someone knows when like you might not even know when but maybe someone around you knows something or they feel like it's going to come really soon or it's going to come quickly or something like that what's the seven of cups in reverse a king of swords three of swords yeah it's like it's like hurting someone like it's that you're getting this higher commitment or someone is coming towards you with this offer is hurting someone else's feelings like it's hurting them and probably because they're codependent and obsessive and possessive over you and they don't want someone else to make you this offer. What's temperance in reverse? Eight of swords. Yeah, this is making this person feel really um, trapped in their mind. And I, I feel like um, it's it, this is that, that feeling of anxiety. Like, I feel like um, with this person's energy here, Temperance in Reverse and Eight of Swords, it feels like like heart racing. Like every time they think about this, it makes their heart race. It makes them feel like they need to do something about it. Like they don't want this to come into reality for you. Uh, it comes out again, yeah, Two of Swords. Someone desperately wants to block this. Like, I don't know why this, this concept of you moving on or getting an engagement is like surreal to someone. Like someone can't believe it. Like someone just does not want to see this come to reality. Like it's a, like their nightmare. Like it's making them feel really nervous and like shaky. Why the fuck are they reacting this way to that news? Like what is making them react this strongly? I don't get it. The lovers, the fact that you have a loving relationship. Yeah, that your relationship is so strong.
So it's the strength of your relationship, like the fact that your bond is so strong, that's what's making this person so terrified. Death. Because then something will become completely over for them. Like, you know what I'm getting? It's like, um, if you get married or you get engaged, then they feel like they'll never have a chance with you again. It's like, bro, you don't have a chance now either. Okay, so I don't know what this person's thinking. Five of Wands, yeah, they just want to compete. They just want to. They just want to stop this. They just want to compete here. Page of Cups. Maybe even because of a child. The Ten of Pentacles. Because, because there's a child that's connected to a, an inheritance. Because it's connected to some sort of a legacy. Because you are or your child or somebody is connected to a legacy or generational wealth or an inheritance or some sort of abundance. That's what's stressing them out. Four of Swords. What do you mean with the Four of Swords? The Fool. What do you mean with the Four of Swords though? Yeah, it has something to do with, um, I, I got the words on ice, like someone might be trying to put something on ice and it has something to do with stability, security, and permanence. So it has something to do with money or being of age. Like, I don't know if it has something to do with a child being of age. A child being of age. Why does somebody want... Is this about a child? It's about a self-absorbed narcissist who wants some sort of unconditional love. Giving and receiving affection. There's a self-absorbed narcissist around that... Something here is tied to money. For them anyways, like an inheritance. I mean, it could just, it doesn't even have to be like, um, like a literal inheritance that you're supposed to be receiving. It could even just be something like spiritually passed down to you, like um, that you are abundant, okay? As the empress, you will have fortune in your life or you have something that you've built for yourself, maybe a career, okay? Like they're, whoever is wanting to compete with you or stop this for you, they see, uh, there's something about like, something being like a meal ticket. That's what it feels like. Like they don't want you to be abundant with someone else. Nine of swords, yeah, it's stressing them out. It's like making them super worried and paranoid that they're not gonna be like, they're not gonna be able to attach themselves to you. They're not gonna get some sort of money. That's what this is about, 10 of pentacles reverse. They're not gonna be attached to the inheritance. They're not gonna be attached to what you build or what you have or what, they're not gonna be attached to like your family legacy in some sort of way. They're not gonna be attached to, I'm not sure what this 10 of pentacles is. If this is, like I said, an actual inheritance or if it's just about what you build in your life, someone, feels like they're not gonna be attached to this if you get married. Who the fuck is this, huh? Who is this? Who is this that's so worried about not being attached to someone? Yeah, they feel like they're not gonna, a queen of wands. Okay, so we have a queen of wands who's terrified that she's not gonna be getting some sort of money or she's not gonna be 
getting some sort of stability or security, she's not going to be attached to some sort of legacy. She's not going to be attached to family inheritance or someone's prosperity. <sighs> That's what all this is about, okay. Oh no, you're not allowed to get married or, or fall in love because then I will get cut off and I don't, like, it's so fucking weird, these people, okay? So what's the Page of Swords? <laughs> they're not gonna get something, Six of Pentacles reverse. They feel like they're not gonna get some sort of money. They're not gonna get some sort of abundance, some sort of uh, inheritance, Seven of Pentacles. They feel like they have more, they feel entitled to it, okay? This person feels like they have been there longer or they have put in more effort or they've, um, confirmation, they've uh, invested more time or they've um, been around longer is what I'm getting. It's like, I deserve it more. I'm entitled to this more. Like, uh, uh, okay, uh, 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 okay. What's a page of swords? A soulmate connection. So somebody knows that there's some sort of partnership or soul contract or an agreement. What is the page of swords? A main female. So I don't know if there's some sort of communication or someone's coming in with some, some, uh, some sort of communication because they don't want someone to get something. They don't want someone to receive something. What's the high priestess? A courtship in reverse, yeah. So you already know, they just don't want you to be together. They don't, it's like somebody does not approve of this relationship or this marriage. It's like, who the fuck asked you, okay? Why do these people think that their opinion matters? I don't know. What's the hangman? Six of swords. The eight of pentacles. It's like somebody feels like you're going to, it's like, this is so strange. Somebody feels like they worked for this and now you're going to just come in and take everything that they worked for. It's like, this is mine. I worked for this. How dare you come in and just take what I worked on first? Like... Like, I was here first. It's so, so weird. It's so entitled, right? I don't know. It's kind of giving me that energy of like, you know, um, let's say um, you're a king, okay? And you have a, a brother who's then the uncle and then you have, okay, so no, you're a king and you have a brother. So your brother is thinking if you die, then they will get the throne. But then all of a sudden you find a wife and you, or you want to get married and have children and then they would succeed the throne. Now your brother, the uncle is like, uh, excuse me, now you're going to have throne heirs. They're going to take the throne away from me. I was here first. I'm the brother. I don't want you to get married. You're not allowed to be married. You're not allowed to have a marriage or a relationship confirmation because I don't want you to then have children and then they get what I'm supposed to get because it's mine because I was here longer and I've been waiting for the throne. Like something like that. What's the Eight of Cups? The Lovers. The Five of Cups. Some, yeah, someone is sad about a relationship. Someone is sad that you have a partnership, a relationship. Excuse me. And they feel like they're getting left out in the cold now. 
if this i don't know what kind of dynamic this is okay but whoever this person is they believe in their mind that if you were to get married and you were to have children in a family that means that they are left out that's why they want to stop this it's like as long as you're around i'm not getting my fair share so we need to stop this from happening because i want the family legacy or i want the inheritance or i want something to be passed down to me i don't know are we is this a royal family because that's kind of what it feels like like that kind of weird um competition thing yeah what's the nine of wands four of pentacles yeah somebody's like this is mine i want to keep this this is my fair share you're not going to take it out of my hands okay um i'm never going to give this up i'm never going to give up my share here what's the five of pentacles judgment yeah but it's their judgment to be left out in poverty apparently okay king of wands so it's part of this person's judgment to be left out but they don't want to like they don't want to give up their spot right so let's go back to my example of this cr like this uh crown being passed down the uncle brother is kind of giving me like um last kingdom what's his name alfred's brother Oh, you guys know who all of you have watched Last Kingdom, you know what I'm talking about. The drunk. It starts with E, I think. I forgot his name. Shit. But he's not fit to be king, okay? He really is not fit at all to be king. But he wants to be king. And but he's not, it's not his place. Like it's not his destiny. It's not part of his judgment. If anything, it's his judgment to not be king so that he can go his own path and like uh you know find to himself or like clean up his act right it's not his judgment to be um the successor his judgment is you're getting kicked out because you it's just not your place or you just haven't done what you needed to do to be here like it's Somebody who thinks that they deserve something because they feel like they're entitled to it. Like it, they, it's just entitlement. It's not because they actually deserve it. It's not because it's actually their place or it's given to them rightfully. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and that's why this person's like, oh, you want to get married and have a family with someone else or you're going to do this. Oh, I'm just going to ruin everything for you so that it doesn't happen. And then I can stick to my entitlement. But that's that's more about why this judgment is here. It's like, you're not part of this line. This is not part of your judgment. You didn't do anything to deserve this. You're not like, it could even be someone that has like married into the family, or this is someone on the outside of the family that wants to marry into the family because they want to be a part of the legacy so bad. Like they want to marry into the royal family, but that's, they can't just impose themselves, right? Because they want the 10 of pentacles. Like, so then they see someone marrying into it and then they're like, no, that's my spot. I want to like, it's weird. Okay. I don't know. This energy is weird, but they're very obsessed with this idea. Okay. They're like very obsessed. It's like, like, um, like, let's just say there's a prince in a family, right? And then there's this normal, ordinary Commonwealth girl that was friends with the prince all of her life. And all of her life, she's been fantasizing about marrying into the royal family. And she's been showing the prince like, hey, I'm here. I'm willing. Pick me. Pick me, right? But the prince doesn't want her. And so she's watching the prince in front of her eyes want to marry someone else. And she's like, no, that's my spot. That's my, I've been reserving this spot the entire time. Ugh, it's weird like that. Okay. The star. Yeah, this is my wish fulfillment. Okay. This was my dream. This is my wish. I've been dreaming of this since I was a little girl or a little boy. This is my dream. You're not going to take it from me. I've imposed myself on this. Okay. Try and rip it out of my hands. Nine of Cups, yeah, this is my wish, this is someone's wish fulfillment. This is about someone watching you get 
what they would have dreamed of getting and they can't take it okay it's like driving them up the wall that you're gonna get something that they want okay that they've been wanting yeah but this is their this is part of judgment like this is meant to be this way that they don't get this thing ace of pentacles reverse they're not getting it they're not getting the offer they're not getting the blessing they're not getting the money they're not getting the gift they're not getting the blessing they're not getting it and that's judgment and that's judgment and that is the final judgment made like there there's nothing they can do to wiggle around it like king of wands so I don't know if this is for a king of wands, okay? Seven of wands reverse. There's nothing that this person can do to wiggle around judgment. Okay? Like, I don't know if it's... Because the king of wands and the queen of wands both came out. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, men, uh, masculine or feminine, that just believes that they are the rightful owner or the rightful heir or the rightful successor or they have the right to impose themselves because they're entitled and it's like no you don't it's not part of your life it's not part of your legacy it's not part of your family okay it's not part of your calling like and that's the truth i can't even yeah okay that's the truth so it's like, as, so somebody is trying really hard, but it's not going to happen. So I feel like that's a message today for cancer. As hard as this fire sign tries, it's not happening because it's not part of their judgment. It's not part of their calling. It's not part of their legacy. It's not what was written in the stars for them. It's not written in their birth chart. It's not written in the stars. It was not written in their fate. It's not happening. They cannot just try and, uh, it's like someone is trying to, um, like, uh, confuse fate, right? Or they're trying to, like, um, change destiny. It, it doesn't happen like that. Okay? Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's Page of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. Why, why are you showing me this now? The Three of Wands. The Lovers in Reverse. Why is the Eight of Swords here though? It's, yeah. This is about fate. This is about fate and destiny and how someone is trying to change like the wheel of karma or they're trying to change their own destiny. Like they don't want to accept their own fate and destiny and they're trying to like change it not only for themselves but for you as well. Like they feel like they are they they are the maker of the universe. Like that's not how it works. They cannot do what they're trying to do it's not gonna work no matter what they try and what ended up happening i feel like with the eight of swords my first initial feeling is that they ended up trapping themselves on this plane like they are they have they're confined like even if they're not in physical prison i feel like they've been put in a timeout by the universe it's like it's not gonna work you're trapped in you're not gonna get that chance you're looking for like it's not happening like their best bet would just be to move forward with their life move on find their own calling okay and stop getting hung up on some sort of a breakup like or it's not your it's not this person's future to be in a relationship or be in some sort of a connection or in a contract or a commitment it's not part of their calling and it's not gonna work no matter what they try and do it's not happening, okay? Ten of Cups. Being part of a family. Or they want to be a part of the family. Or they want to be a Queen of Wands. They want to be a part of a family line, okay? Like, it's definitely a fire sign. 
I'm not sure if it's a king of wands, queen of wands, could be both, could be one person. Take it how it resonates, I'm not sure. But th it's just, it's about family line. It's about being part of a family legacy, being part of an inheritance, being part of a, being part of like an, a, a generational line, like ancestry, like a, something that's going through, like a bloodline. Someone here, that's what I feel. They want to be attached to a bloodline so bad because being attached to some sort of a family line or bloodline has something that is attached to destiny or fate. Like, I don't know. I'm, I don't know why I'm even getting birth chart. Like, this is someone that could have read your birth chart. They know about your birth chart. They know that you, what might come for you in your life, okay? What you're destined for. There are certain markers in a birth chart that can predict that someone is meant to be like famous or be very wealthy in their life, right? So I don't know if someone here knows about your birth chart and they're like, oh, I want to be attached to that. And I'm going to be, I'm going to attach myself to that. It's like, it doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. Like you are not, you're not, it's not your judgment. You're not going to receive the blessing. We're not going to be swapping destinies here, okay? So, like, it's time to move on and leave it behind, really. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, wealth. Wealth. This could have something to do with wealth. Like, I'm telling you, somebody might know that in your birth chart, you have certain markers or planetary alignments that show that you would have the potential to be very wealthy or that it's like written in the stars for you to be very wealthy one day or have some sort of public recognition or that you are someone that's gonna i don't know there's something significant about birth chart and i feel like it has something to do with abundance and money and wealth and someone here wants to be a part of the ride it's like you're not a part of the ride like deal with it okay you're not a part of the family destiny Nine of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. It has something to do with career. Six of Wands and public recognition. It might have something to do with public recognition. It might have something to do with fame. It might have something to do with career and abundance. I feel like there's someone here that knows something about what is in your birth chart, okay? Because that's what it feels like. I don't know why. I never get that during readings, but I'm getting it today. Yeah. And they wanted to, like, um, hook into this. They want to be a part of this. Okay? They want it to be their destiny. Like, it could even be, like, because <laughs> it's coming out with the Five of Pentacles and Judgment. With the King of Wands, it's something about a fire sign. Okay? It could be written in this person's birth chart that they're going to be in poverty. So maybe this person has seen in their own birth chart that they are meant to live a life of poverty or that they are going to go through certain markers in their life where they lose everything, where they lose money over and over and over again. So then they find someone like you read your birth chart and they're like, oh my gosh, this person is destined to be really fucking wealthy one day. Hmm, how about I just attach myself to them and then we can swap destinies. It doesn't work that way. If anything, it is a self fulfilling prophecy like this this person tried to go around his own destiny or the, her destiny and what ended up doing was just coming straight back to point a with a self-fulfilling prophecy they're trying to run away from poverty they run straight back into it but trying to run away from it it's like that's why birth charts and that's why you know when you're born, what day you're born, where you're born, the alignment, you choose when you come to this earth. It's like this person's soul forgot, obviously, that they made this agreement with themselves when before they came on earth that this is what they were going to learn. And now they're here and they forgot their own soul contract. And now they're trying to run away from it because they don't want to live in poverty. It's like, well, that is this person's soul decided to come on that day, on that hour, at that place for exactly this judgment. Just because your soul forgot before you incarnated here doesn't mean that you can reverse it. That's not how it works. Okay? 
I don't know, something like that, man. Ace of Wands. Yeah, I'm sorry, whoever this is, but your path is lack. Or the actions that they took in their life is what led them to this. Like every single action that they've taken is what has led them to this. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like the more they do to try to get away from this without having to go through it, the more it keeps like going, going straight back to this. Because they're trying to find a way out of it without going through it. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. So they're trying to avoid the lesson rather than learning the lesson. And that's their problem, I think. Yeah, Nine of Swords. And that's the issue. They don't want to learn the lesson. They just want to avoid it. Strengths. A king of wands. It's a fire sign. Okay, I don't know. A strength. Could be a Leo. I don't know. It doesn't have to be, though. Okay, so closing words here for Cancer. Nine of Cups. It's about wish fulfillment. Five of Swords. Eight of Swords in reverse. This person, this person, whoever they are, they need to learn gratefulness. They're not grateful. This person is someone that is like a, a pick me or it's never enough. This person has not learned the vital lesson in life of being grateful for what you have with the nine of cups. They're not grateful for the things that they have, yet they want more, 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 more. They're not grateful. They're selfish and indulgent. They overindulge. They only think about how they can get what they want because they're not grateful. This is the lesson that they didn't learn in life. They didn't learn gratefulness. They didn't learn contentment, being content with the things that you have, being grateful for the things that you have. This person is selfish, they're manipulative, they're conniving, and they just want more, more, more. If they had learned this lesson, they might have been able to get themselves out of the bind. But they didn't learn the lesson. And it's just going to keep falling apart for them over and over and over and over and over again. Everything's going to fall apart over and over and over again because of their intention behind it. And their intention is I'm not grateful for the things that I have and I want more, more, more and I'm overindulgent and I don't care what I have to do to get what I want. I'll do anything. I'll step on anyone. I'll say anything. I'll do anything to get what I want. That's why the tower keeps coming in over and over and over and over again because of this person's own mindset, their own intentions. Like it's a self-fulfilling prophecy for them. How are you going to manifest greatness with this kind of an attitude, honestly? Like, who does this person think that they are? Being ungrateful over... Exactly. 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 The devil comes out. I can't even make it up. Yeah, that's this person's energy. They are selfish. They are greedy. They are overindulgent. They are gluttonous. Vengeful. Controlling. Full of themselves, in their ego, ungrateful. Yet they want, you know, they want to build and they want this and they want that and they want everything. You need to learn the first lesson, yo, okay? It's this, this shadow side, this toxic side. Okay? I honestly don't know if they're going to learn it this life. I don't. They have too many toxic behavior patterns. And they were, I feel like this person was supposed to come back into this life, this life, and go through these things and really heal through the toxic toxicities, okay? But they didn't. Or maybe this is just someone that is just, maybe this is just an entity, okay? And they are just recycling themselves onto earth over and over and over again as the selfish, greedy, entitled, arrogant, Full of themselves, overindulging, gluttonous, vengeful entity. They don't want to be enlightened. That's fine, okay? They don't want to, you know, reach enlightenment one day and reach that abundance one day. That's fine, but what are they expecting? I mean, I don't know. Three of Pentacles. I'm just going to leave it at that, man. I'm... 
Yeah. Let's see. Who is this? Who is this person that cancer is dealing with? Someone's parents or grandparents, okay? A cancer. An accomplice. We have an Aquarius, a gang member, and a Scorpio. We have a baby daddy. We have July. June. November. March and a husband. And then we have a boss. And an investigator. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that, man. Okay. I hope it helps. Cancer. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.